Northern Ireland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, what what the Muslims did at that time is they didn't want to uh, make their conflict uh, conflict a lot uh, bigger. So they spoke to the they spoke to the Queen at the time. Right, from what I read so far, and they said, look, we don't want to make the relationship toxic. What we do is. Wherever you're contributing, we will contribute it uh, equally, if not more. So they even pledged to give like almost something equivalent to five to ten million so along that figure. Don't quote me on it. And the queen was only given like something an uh, equivalent as a food aid, something as almost like two million. But because the Muslims gave their word to the Irish, they gave rest of the money through ships and they, they brought it uh, on the other side of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see But you know why we did that? Why the Muslims did that? I think this this East and Trouble and every religion and every belief system. You know, we see it a lot with the Trouble from Northern Ireland and coming from a from an unbiased perspective. I mean, obviously over there there is there's still is part of racism as well over where I live. Um, but you know, you can't take the good with the bad, and I just in every belief system. I agree with the good and I don't agree with the bad. <laughs> no, but then belief systems cannot reconcile one another. By default, if one is true, the other one is false. So if Christianity is true, that means all other religions are false. And if Islam is true, that means all other belief systems are false. So what we're saying to you is the truth is the truth. About religion, because I'm not religious myself. I'm yeah. talking about the morals. Oh, the morals. Yeah. But do you, would you say there's an object? Objective morals? No, it's cultural. Sorry? It's mostly cultural. Mutual Mo cultural. Cult cultural. I but then, we wouldn't. Oh, how you here? Let's see. Objective. Yeah, it's my perspective on else's views. I, I spend into a state mind. I mean, I think there's some lines, but as long as you're not harming anyone else, I think you should know. But what would you rather subscribe to? Subjective morals or objective? No such thing as objectivity. No, so you wouldn't. Uh, you don't believe there's anything objective mo moral, objective morals. Some of them. Some of them. When you're harming someone. Else. Yes, that's different. If what would you say objective morals are? What would you class as a, yeah, that thing is an objective moral? Anything abusive towards another person. Then if you're so them, your criteria is as long anything that, uh, what, what's your criteria? If it's abusive towards another person, I mean, we have the law for a reason, but, you know. Quran chapter 65. Yeah, but then someone else can disagree to that and say. Oh, I know, but that's what we That's what makes life interesting, isn't it? <laughs> This guy's a nuts anyway. What it is, is I would say to you, what we believe in from a, a, as Muslims, there is objective morals, and those objective morals cannot come from any human beings. They can only come from the Creator, our Creator. Because, uh, because the Creator uh, knows us better than ourselves. It's logical to say, whatever, if there is a Creator, that creator should give us morals and objective way of life, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't believe in that. But, um, I, live in a, I, I live in a place where we have nearly every religion you can imagine, and we all get along and respect each other's views, and that's the way we do it. No, but then, then what, what that would, that is a, is a, I wouldn't say is not productive. I would say it's, it's improductive. You know why? Because morals, if we, if they're subjective, today you may not be able to marry your father, but then going in a year's time or, or in the future, the idea is it can be be uh, be open to it. Do you see? So yeah, what I, mean, I would say is change is good in some ways. Well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say what to, even to a bad, as as bad as incest. Well, no, I mean in some ways, like where I live. Um, I mean, my own views, you know, where I come from, they don't support gay marriage, um, they don't support abortion, they don't support any of that. And personally, you know, they just overturn that law and I think that's progressive. You have to be progressive. Religion's based on a lot of old laws and as things progress, you have to, you have to adapt. Religion has to be flexible. No, but then what I'm saying to you, yes, uh, I, I know what you're saying, but really and truly, the, the, all those problems that we spoke about before um, and guidance, we just subjective laws and subjective morals just brush through over it, and it doesn't actually deal with the root of the problem. Where Islam, um, I'm not giving you old 
ideologies and faiths out there. I'm saying to you, Islam is the uh, it's the solution to all of those problems we mentioned, and it objectively deals with it. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite set on my own, so I respect your views. No, but then what I'm saying I, to I you, I respect mine, but I'm going to wander on. Now. Oh, bless you. Take, take a, would you like a um, a copy of the Quran? Why not? It's a gift to I'll you. One. I mean, my the Quran. So you need our end on this yeah. as a falsification test. You know what falsification test is? Yeah. And take this one as well. Okay, the, I'll, I'll take them and I'll. Um, I'll, 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 I'll end on this. The Quran as a basically a falsification test is all it is. Is basically it's a test that you can take and look into it. it and look if the Quran is actually from God or not. So for instance, if me and you were to argue about who's the fastest, what's the best way of settling it? To have a race, isn't it? So Quran gives you a criteria, yeah? Look in the world. And all you have to do is find one contradiction. It says this book's from God, and if it was other than God, then you'll have contradiction and mistakes. Mm -hmm. right? And it's just challenging all human beings to find that one single contradiction or mistake. I, I find it very interesting. Look into that. <laughs> Take care, yeah?